Hey guys, this is Divin Cello here, and today I just wanted to show you all a speaker I got a couple months ago. This is the Atlas. Put it to the back here. This is the Atlas Sound model number. SD72WV and this speaker I got from eBay and so far I really really like it so as you can see um, here's the 70 volt transformer now if you wanted if you wanted to tap it at like the maximum which is 5 watts you take the brown wire which is your your hot and then this is your common so 5 watts 70 volts and then your common wire which is the black and there is a diagram show you this real quick here is uh, the tap settings uh, the wires are taped in or it's screwed in so you can't easily move them. What I do is uh, I tape everything else and only leave free the two uh, taps I'm going to use on my amplifier. So, say you wanted to tap it at, um, let's see, pull something out of my ass here. Um, Say you wanted to tap it at 2.0 watts, so you can see it's the violet cable, which is right here. Look, violet, yay! Um, and then it also says that your common is your black, BLK is black, and there's also a label there. It just says that it's a sec the secondary side of the transformer. It's a Atlas Sound branded driver transformer. You can't really see, but I'll do the best I can. There's also a volume knob in the middle of the grill. So if the, you know, just for that extra gain, if you're not really comfortable with the settings of your tap, you know, just God forbid. Which I think is a pretty nice feature. There was um, an Atlas emblem right here, but unfortunately it got lost during shipping. Which isn't really a big deal. I think it's not really that visible up in the ceiling. You can't really see the, the potentiometer while it's up in the ceiling. Like Customers really wouldn't give a shit about speakers on the wall. Um... But, yeah, there it is on its regular side. So, without further ado, I'm going to be showing me hooking it up. And I'm going to be testing it with some death grips. Okay, and we are back and rolling. So, as you can see, we have our common, like I said, and... Here is the brown 5 watt 70 volt tap. But I don't know if you can see it in the background, but I have a Radio Shack amplifier. It's called an Ampia 31. I think it's 15, 20 watt. So at the at the highest setting, you can have up to uh, four 70 volt speakers on the 70 volt uh, comm ports on this amplifier. So, I have this, I think 18 gauge, 20 gauge wire. It's like bell wire. Bell wire isn't really good for this, but. First, I am going to be installing the uh, brown to the to the 70 volt uh, pot. I'm gonna put my cap on. 
and screw away. All right, we got that one done. Now we're going to be doing the uh, the common terminal, which I think I lost. I don't think I have. I have this, but it's too big. But we'll try it anyways. Um, so we'll use this big guy. Oh, it's it's doing something. All right. Fair enough, um, so here is my Atlas sound speaker with its wires hooked up. Now I'm gonna release this from the tripod. Thank you very much. Yes, this room is a mess. Oh, and also, yes, I am going to be using my Merlin Magic's system on here. So without further ado, Let's turn it on. You heard it pop. You could hear some uh, 60 hertz ground noise because I don't have this on a conditioner. Let's plug in my UTI-1. Oh, that was a loud ass pop. Now we have the 60 hertz going. You hear that? Yeah. And uh, last but not least, Let's turn on my Merlin Magics. And I'm not showing you the rest of my messy room. Turning on my laptop. And playing, doing some musical tests. Have Dipper and Mabel having fun. In the background, we have, let's just play the song at the beginning. Uh, it's called Clank by Death Grips. Um. Fuck yeah. Sounds okay. It's not like it's meant for a shit ton of bass. Let's make an announcement. Attention. Please subscribe. If you don't subscribe, might as well get hit by a bus. No, just kidding. Thank you. Demonstrate the 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 pop potentiometer. So you could turn it down and then turn it back up. Testing. Ooh, it's still pretty loud. That's really good. But yeah, that just goes, gives you an idea. Um, I probably am going to be making a full-fledged intercom system just like Mr. Mercury Fix It. I'm also going to have to find a way to run an ethernet cable down here for ATA to my Merlin Magic so it could talk to my free PBX server, which I have here. It's not on right now, but it's I have free PBX on this Raspberry Pi 3. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's end this video off. Have a nice day. Remember to eat your veggies. So yeah, thank you.